Pasadena, California, the 69th annual Rose Bowl. This year, the Michigan Wolverines against the UCLA Bruins. The University of Michigan survived a topsy-turvy season to win the Big Ten and earn their seventh trip to the Rose Bowl under this man, Bo Schimbeckler. After five tries, the Wolverines gave Schimbeckler his first Rose Bowl win two years ago. And leading the Michigan offense is number one, Anthony Carter, one of the most prolific receivers in college football history. A three-time All-American who averaged a touchdown every four receptions in 1982. And from the Pac-10, the UCLA Bruins, 9-1-1, one, and, one, and ranked fifth in the nation. Terry Donahue has played here, but never coached in the Rose Bowl. After seven seasons, he gets his chance today. And leading the potent Bruin offense is quarterback Tom Ramsey, the number one rated passer in major college football and co-MVP in the Pac-10. Earlier this season, Tom Ramsey riddled the Michigan secondary for more than 300 yards. Ramsey Carter, Schimbeckler Donahue, UCLA and Michigan. This, of course, is a game of great tradition. UCLA and Michigan are two of the traditional powers in the Pac-10 and the Big Ten. But Terry Donahue is coaching here in the Rose Bowl for the first time. Bo Schimbeckler has been here six times, but won only once. And with the conferences becoming all the more balanced every year, how these teams got here this year was anything but traditional. To get a real perspective on this game, you have to go back a year and a day to Houston, Texas. New Year's Eve 1981, the Blue Bonnet Bowl. The Wolverines had things very much their own way, ripping the Bruins 33 to 14. But then September 25th, 1982, after Michigan had jumped out to a three-touchdown lead, UCLA stormed back. Tom Ramsey threw for 311 yards and two touchdowns as the Bruins beat the Wolverines for the first time. For Michigan, their season came down to this play. Against the University of Illinois, the Wolverines stopped Dwight Beverly on fourth and goal, saving a touchdown that could have sent Ohio State here today. Michigan won it 16-10. UCLA's road was no easier, facing what looked like impossible odds. The final game of the season against USC, with the combination of Arizona State beating Arizona and Washington State beating Washington, it came down to this two-point conversion with no time left. The Bruins sacked SC quarterback Scott Tensley and won it 2019, which brings them here today for the first time since 1976. For Michigan, eight and three on the year, representing the Big Ten, UCLA 9-1-1, one, one, the representatives of the Pac-10. And here come the Wolverines of Michigan. For the first time ever, the Wolverines, after losing their final game of the year to Ohio State, still advance on to the Rose Bowl, where Michigan played more Big Ten games than did Ohio State. The Wolverines this year lost to Notre Dame, to UCLA, whom they play today, and to Ohio State, 24-14. Bo Schembechler, their coach, has lost five Rose Bowl games and won one. That was the last time they were here in 1981 when they beat the University of Washington 23 to 6. Michigan depends on quarterback Steve Smith, their fine tailback Lawrence Ricks, and of course their All-American wide receiver Anthony Carter, number one. of UCLA are 9-1-1 one, and one on the year, number five in the nation. Losers only to Washington, 10-7. They were tied by Arizona, 24-24. And as they come onto the Rose Bowl field, this is their home field. In 1982, for the first time ever, they played their home games here. The Grand Marshal, customarily, is honored again by flipping the coin to decide who kicks off and receives. That honor has been handed off from Merlin Olson to his nine-year-old son, Nate, there's Nathan, handsomely attired. He's been practicing all week and flipping that commemorative yep. coin. And here's a the great The rose is the head. The replica of the stadium is the tail. All right. Nathan Olson is going to flip the coin. You Nathan's call it the air, and he's going, he going, going to let it fall it, on the ground. Okay, Nathan. <laughs> head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is a head. He's you are, you get this coin, and you sure will be presented, sure each did. one of you, with a commemorative coin to keep. 
You are going President to of the 94th right? Tournament of Roses, you Norton fellas, Hamlin, you saw, you congratulating the captains from both sides. The Bruins led by Tom Ramsey, number seven in the country in total offense. Michigan won the toss, will receive, and Ken Potter to kick it off for UCLA. Through the end zone, keeping it away from the dangerous Anthony Carter. On the sidelines, Terry Donahue, the head coach of UCLA. In 1966, he was a player. He was a walk-on, a defensive tackle. He played in the Rose Bowl. Ten years later, he was an assistant coach. And now he's facing Bo Schembechler as head coach in the Rose Bowl. By contrast, Schembechler, this is his seventh Rose Bowl. He lost the first five and then won against Washington two years ago. This is later in the first quarter now, first and ten from the ten for Michigan. Watch Lawrence Ricks, their tailback, their top ball carrier, sweeping to the right, across the 15, across the 20, first down for Michigan. The second leading ball carrier for Michigan is quarterback Steve Smith, who has carried 150 times fewer than Lawrence Ricks, and this time Smith is back to throw. Looking for Dunaway, the tight end, a pickup of 17 yards out to the 26-yard line. The Wolverines, though, were stalled, as they were to be stalled many times throughout this Rose Bowl afternoon. It is second down and five from the 48. Ricks goes up the middle, no gain. The Bruins hold. Oh, if the run did not work, why not the pass? Steve Smith has the word from the sidelines. Goes off the hands of his freshman fullback, Rick Rogers, incomplete, and it's fourth down. Now Don Bracken to punt. Lupe Sanchez calls for the fair catch. Bracken this year in 43 punts only had 14 returns. Now UCLA led by Tom Ramsey on the field, the nation's leading passer in efficiency this year. Ramsey looks for Townsell. Has his wide receiver for 16 yards and a first down. Ramsey, who was to complete his first five passes in a row. Now to his tight end, Paul Bergman. Another first down, 18 yards. And with that working, Ramsey again goes to his tight end. Nine more yards. But inside linebacker Paul Geargash took things into his own hands. And in this case, took Danny Andrews into his own hands. A loss of two yards. But on the next play, Geargash made the play that set up the first score for UCLA. Bergman across the middle. The pass is delivered, but Geargash makes the tackle ahead of the ball. Interference, first down at the two. Nelson tries to sweep for the touchdown. Geargash knocks him out of bounds. Second down from the one. And Tom Ramsey, the man who engineered the drive, scores the touchdown with a quarterback sneak from a yard out. Watch Ramsey, who weighs less than 190 pounds, move out linebacker Tim Anderson, who weighs better than 222. For the touchdown. Bruins of UCLA lead 7-0 first quarter in the 1983 Rose Bowl. Second quarter, Michigan trying to get back in the ballgame. Smith slips as he headed for the open field. But the big play was the next play. First and ten, Michigan. Smith back to pass, looking for Rick Rogers. Off his hands, into the hands, and out again to Don Rogers of UCLA. Interception inside the 20-yard line. Look again. Smith throws the ball hard. Rick Rogers can't handle it. And for a moment, neither can Don Rogers. But it's an interception. UCLA stops Michigan inside their own 20-yard line. Perhaps the Wolverines didn't think so, but things would get even worse for Steve Smith and the Michigan coaching staff. Later in the same quarter, Steve Smith, the quarterback, and watch closely as he comes out toward you and Don Rogers comes up to meet him. A tremendous hit, and Smith is down and cannot get up. He was to leave the football game with a shoulder separation. His 1983 Rose Bowl was all over. Rogers with a clean hit. Smith said he's had hits this hard before, but never put out of action before, but this one by Rodgers did it.
They say that Don Rogers got his hard-hitting technique from Kenny Easley, the former UCLA All-American, now on the professionals, and Rogers certainly learned his lesson well. Michigan has a big three on offense. They are Steve Smith, Lawrence Ricks the tailback, and the All-American flanker Anthony Carter. Now they're down to two as Smith takes this hit from Rogers. His substitute, David Hall, said he has never been as nervous as he was when he came out to play for Steve Smith. And on the first play, his first pass, he looked nervous. But Anthony Carter makes the catch for 10 yards. Meanwhile, on the bench, they were working on Steve Smith. Smith, who had carried the ball for nine touchdowns during the regular season, and that was high on the Wolverine Club. And he had thrown for 14 more. The junior out of Grand Blank, Michigan, was not out of his Michigan career one more year to go, but certainly out of the ball game. And for Bo Schembechler, well, he was down to two. Lawrence Ricks and Anthony Carter. And Carter failed him on another play. Bunafe punting to the All-American, who is a tremendous and all-timer in returning punts. But watch what happens. Carter tries to pick the ball up on one bounce and fumbles the ball. And Durden of UCLA recovers. Another mistake for Michigan. The second turnover. Carter said after the game, it was a dumb mistake. You will never see me do this again. He said, I tried to trick them. Instead, he lost the handle, and UCLA got the football. The second turnover, one stop to score. This one set up a score. John Lee, the freshman, kicker from 39 yards out. Field goal is good. And UCLA is out in front of Michigan, 10 to nothing. What a study in contrast for UCLA and the coaching staff of Derry Donahue and Tom Ramsey. A great first half for Bo Schembechler, his injured quarterback Steve Smith. Well, there's always the second half. At halftime, more pageantry. Pageantry provided by the bands of the two schools. Michigan under the direction of Eric Beckler and UCLA under the direction of Gordon Henderson.
second half of the 1983 Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all. This matchup, UCLA 10, Michigan nothing. Michigan, two turnovers, both costly. One stopped their touchdown drive, the other set up a field goal for UCLA. The Bruins, no turnovers at all. And a bigger story, the injuries to the University of Michigan. On your left, Rich Stringer, their strong offensive tackle, hurt on the third play of the game. And Steve Smith, their leader in touchdown scored on the ground. He's thrown for 14 during the regular season, also out with that separated shoulder. Neither man will be back. It'll be up to the Wolverines to come back and beat the Bruins without them. Midway in the third quarter, Lawrence Ricks off left tackle for seven yards as Michigan tries to get something going. Second down and three from the 38-yard line. David Hall remembers the quarterback. He has never been in a game in which Michigan has been losing. Always he has been in the game to mop up. Now the second half of the Michigan hopes are on his shoulders. The defense of Michigan tries to figure out now how to stop UCLA. But Michigan must score first, and again, Hall will go to a good tailback, Lawrence Ricks. This has been the Michigan offense all year long. Four more yards, and it's first and 10 at the 34. Jen Beckler uses messenger guards to run in and out the plays, but every play he is running in in this series of downs carries the number 46, the tailback, Lawrence Ricks. Nine more yards. During the regular season, Ricks ran the ball more times than did Steve Smith. The three fullbacks on the roster, or his two backups at tailback. Lawrence Ricks has been a real workhorse, but remember he is working here without Steve Smith, the number two ball carrier. It is up to Ricks and Anthony Carter. Bo Schembechler has a play from the sidelines. His team is down 10 to nothing. There's Anthony Carter, and here is Carter on that last Ricks play, throwing a block, allowing him to pick up the first down. And now a substitute. It is Rick Rogers at tailback for Ricks. And Rogers picks up good running room. Getting down inside the 20 yard line. First down, Michigan. Rogers remaining in a tailback. And David Hall has the word from Bo Schembechler. Keep that tailback going. That's what's gotten us here. And here we go again. Here is Rick Rogers carrying for the seven yards inside the 20 yard line down to the 17 yard line. This is the kind of ground game that has gotten Michigan to the Rose Bowl and the Big Ten title. First down and 10 to go. Rogers again, the ball carrier. And the freshman gets inside the 15 yard line. One of the little used position on Bo Schembechler's team is the fullback. Bryce, Garrett, and Armstrong, the three listed fullbacks for this Rose Bowl game, between them have 53 carries total for the year. Coach Derry Donahue of UCLA was worried. He's seen this kind of Michigan drive before. It is pure vintage Wolverine staying on the ground. Rice, the fullback, picks up five inside the 10 yard line. Michigan has a first down. Terry Donahue, understandably upset. The Michigan crowd, understandably ecstatic. And the Bruin defense, which held the Wolverines in the first half, having trouble now as the offensive line of Michigan begins to open big holes. Michigan picking up its 14th first down, now inside the 10-yard line. Lawrence Ricks back in the ball game. The tailback, number 46, and if he's back in the ball game, he's got the football. Michigan has not used a pass all the way down the field. They have stuck to the ground. They've moved the ball against UCLA, and now it is second down and goal to go. And Shem Beckler excited along the sidelines. This may be the chance to get back in the ball game. He's trailing 10 0, third quarter. The play has been sent in with the messenger right guard. David Hall, the substitute quarterback, Steve Smith on the sidelines, has the play. Second down, goal to go. Lawrence Ricks held up, stopped short of the goal line. Third and goal to go. But Michigan knocking on the door. Again, Jerry DiOrio, one of the messenger guards, gets the story as we take a look at the replay. And watch this stop of Lawrence Ricks, made right there 
by Blanchard Montgomery, the linebacker. One more time, Montgomery number 27. Watch him come up and meet Ricks and hold him. Michigan, now with a third down and goal to go, trailing 10 to nothing. This is their chance. Hall is going to throw. Hall looks into the end zone. Incomplete, intended for his tight end, Craig Dunaway. Fourth down. Dunaway and the ball out of the end zone. So after marching down to the one-foot line, Schembechler says, throw the ball. It is incomplete. David Hall, 6'4", junior quarterback. Looking, throwing almost flat-footed, and Dunaway is out of the end zone. Fourth down. And again, Hall has the play from the bench. Is it to be Ricks, the tailback, or Eddie Garrett, the fullback? You would think Ricks. Fourth down. Inches to go. Hall is, fakes the handoff. It's going to throw a touchdown. Eddie Garrett, the fullback, coming out of the backfield. The young freshman makes it 10 to 6 with the extra point to be added to draw Michigan within three. the most unexpected call of the day. After marching down, running the ball, Hall throws for the touchdown to Eddie Garrett to put Michigan back in this 1983 Rose Bowl. And now to add the extra point, Ali Haji Sheik, who over the past two years has kicked 74 out of 74 points after touchdown, a Big Ten and Michigan school record. Make it 75 for 75 in the Rose Bowl, third quarter. UCLA 10, Michigan 7. Bo Schembechler's team back in the ball game at 10-7. Back in the ball game on this unexpected play once more. David Hall throwing to Eddie Garrett out of the backfield. Touchdown, Michigan. 10 to 7. 10 plays, 45 yards, almost four and a half minutes, and a one yard pass play to put Michigan back in the ball game. Part of the success of UCLA, even though they're only ahead by three points, has been keep the ball away from Anthony Carter. Don't kick it to him. The one punt he did try to handle, he fumbled. But on kickoffs, they've been kicking the ball out of the end zone. And so, turnabout is fair play with Doki Williams back there for UCLA. A very dangerous returner. They kick the ball deep into the end zone, and UCLA has to bring it out to the 20-yard line. No run back. But this is the drive that had everybody talking. Watch as it unfolds from the 20-yard line. Um, Ramsey back to throw. Looking to Andrews, almost intercepted. After the game was over, the UCLA offensive team said that Tom Ramsey said, we've got to get the momentum back. We've got to put points on the board. It was 10-7 at this time. Ramsey back to throw again to Cephas. Cephas on the screen, picks up nothing. This big drive did not have an auspicious start. But Ramsey got things going. Third down and 10, still at the 20-yard line after the incomplete pass almost picked off. And then the screen play to Cephas over on the side. But the Wolverines had it programmed and planned beautifully. Frank Cephas got nothing. Tackle made by Kevin Brooks. Gary Donahue also sends in the plays to his quarterback, Tom Ramsey. Third down and 10. Ramsey to throw, the blitz is on. Tanzel is down and out and has the catch and the first down. Jojo Townsell later said that this is what they call the free pattern. It works nearly every time, down and out. And Shem Beckler and the Wolverines have failed to stop Ramsey. He's got the first down. The All-American receiver for UCLA is Cormac Carney, and this is why he's not catching many passes today. Knocked down as he came off the line of scrimmage. But Jojo Townsell was not knocked down. He got clear to the 32 first down UCLA. 
Tom Ramsey playing a picture perfect game. Starts the punt and then gets nothing as he scrambles back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 on a 32 of UCLA. Third quarter, 10 to 7. UCLA leads Michigan in the 1983 Rose Bowl. They played three times. This is the third time within the last year. The Blue Bonnet Bowl was won by Michigan. Earlier in this season, UCLA came from behind to beat Michigan, and this is the rubber game. But this is the big game and the granddaddy of them all. Second and 10. Ramsey back to throw again. Nobody open. He'll have to run. Turns the corner and picks up five more yards. Ramsey gets out to the 32-yard line. But one more time, as it was moments ago, Tom Ramsey and UCLA have a third down and long situation. Last time you recall, they went on the down and out, the free pattern, to JoJo Townsell. Ramsey, 21 touchdown passes on the year. A touchdown scored in this game on a quarterback sneak. The only touchdown that UCLA has. Third down, remember, five to go from a 37. Ramsey rolling to the right, looking for the same man. Townsell diving, catch, first down, UCLA. The drive stays alive. Bo Beckler, one and five in the Rose Bowl, hopes to improve that record today. His team is only but three points behind late in the third quarter. Lost his first five Rose Bowls in a row before winning against Washington. Terry Donahue, first time as head coach in this game. First down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Danny Andrews, the much improved tailback, carries the ball for a couple of yards. UCLA moved Irv Eastman, an All-American defensive tackle, to offensive tackle. And once they did that, then all of the tailbacks and fullbacks of UCLA began to run a lot better, thanks to the blocking of Eastman. Although Terry Donahue says Danny Andrews has improved a lot on his own. He is a sophomore. Second down and eight. The drive started back at the 20-yard line. Now they are out near midfield. Tom Ramsey back to throw. Nobody downfield. Ramsey fakes, has to run, heading for the sidelines, gets across the 40. Another first down, UCLA. Gets down to the 36-yard line of Michigan. One more time, and now you can see the artistry of Tom Ramsey. Looking downfield to the left, comes back as he nears the line of scrimmage. He'll pump once, fake them out, and then head for the sidelines and pick up the first down. At the 36, Frank Cephas picks up a couple of yards, tackled by Hammerstein. UCLA trying to grind it out, trying to take the momentum back from Michigan because Michigan was the last to score. It is 10 to 7. Pac-10, remember, has won 11 of the last 13 Rose Bowls, but it is 19 to 17, and the overall Rose Bowl situation in favor of the Big Ten since they began this series in 1947 with the Big Ten and Pac-10 going. Ramsey, short drop, hits his man, Cormac Carney for 11 yards and a first down. Down to the 23-yard line. One more time, watch Cormac Carney. And watch the linebacker try to cover him coming out of the backfield. Bourne makes the stop, but it is a first down. UCLA has been using little running on this series aside from Ramsey. Now they go to Kevin Nelson, and Nelson rips up the middle against Michigan. Nine yards down to the 14-yard line. First down. One more time, Ramsey on the handoff. Look at the blocking of UCLA, and look at the little cut there made by Kevin Nelson to pick up the nine yards in the first down. Deep 
Douglas again for five yards. What a luxury for Terry Donahue and his staff. A first down inside the 10 yard line, up by three points, and a chance now to at least walk away here with a John Lee field goal. Brian Wiley, a reserve fullback, will bring in the play from the bench, but they've got the luxury of those four downs to pick up the touchdown or the three points. Michigan made a great drive along the ground. Their last two plays passes, the last one to Eddie Garrett, but UCLA under Tom Ramsey, his scrambling, his throwing, and his running have moved down now to the nine yard line where it's first down. To Danny Andrews, inside, straight arm, touchdown UCLA. The Pac-10 and the Bruins back on top. No longer a three-point bulge, it will be a ten-point bulge. Watch again as Danny Andrews starts to the right, gets inside the five, puts out that left arm for a straight arm right there, and then with his desire gets into the end zone. Tom Ramsey engineered this drive, but Danny Andrews, the sophomore, caps it off with this run of nine yards full of desire. John Lee to add the extra point. It's good. UCLA and the Pac-10 on top of Michigan and the Big Ten 17 to seven. They'll talk about this drive for a long while. After the Michigan touchdown, UCLA came back and Danny Andrews goes in for the touchdown to make it 17-7. Thirteen plays, 80 yards, a tremendous drive for UCLA, five minutes off the clock, but more importantly, they snatched the momentum back from the University of Michigan, which had climbed within three points of UCLA. 17 to 7 the score, and Ramsey and company try to get an insurance touchdown with an amazing drive. Here first and ten from the 44, looking for Cormac Kearney for 22 yards and a first down, all the way to the 34-yard line of Michigan. UCLA on the move again under the guidance of Tom Ramsey. We showed you in the third quarter why Cormac Carney has not been catching many passes, knocked down as he came off the line of scrimmage. This time they fail to check him, Ramsey finds him, and the play is good for 22 yards. The finest wide receiver in UCLA history, Cormac Carney, first down all the way down to the 34 of Michigan. Ramsey hands off to Kevin Nelson, goes right up the middle again against that Michigan defense. All the way down to the 34-yard line. First down. The Bruins beginning to march one more time. This time it was Kevin Nelson, and again, look at the splits in the line. As Nelson gets into the secondary and has lots of room to ramble. This has been the real surprise of this 1983 Rose Bowl. In two prior games within the last year, UCLA had a total of 74 yards rushing. They're doing a lot better than that today. And Ramsey goes for more to Danny Andrews, bounces off one man all the way down to the eight yard line. Andrews, first and 10 from the eight yard line. UCLA trying to wrap up this 69th annual Rose Bowl, their first appearance in many years. And remember the first ever appearance as head coach for Terry Donahue. Ramsey goes to his tailback. One more time, this time coming out of the backfield, Andrews picks up only a couple down to the six yard line. Michigan earlier moved down the field with the run and went to the pass as they got inside the five. This time it's UCLA's turn. With the run, they moved inside the 10, and now Ramsey has gone to Andrews through the air. Second down and goal. The ball is on the six-yard line, and the defensive play is coming in from the Michigan bench as UCLA comes out of the huddle. Andrews the tailback. Bruno the fullback. Andrews with the football for a couple of tough yards inside the five-yard line. 
And it is third down and goal to go. And these are the moments when all of the Michigan fans hope that Terry Donahue's group do not punch it in. They've got to hold. Shem Becklin is defensive coordinator, exhorting their players to hold UCLA. It's only 17 to 7. A score here, and we're in deep trouble in the fourth quarter. Third down, goal to go. Brian Wiley's coming at fullback. Wiley with the football. Wiley near the goal line and stacked up short. It is fourth down and goal to go. The phone's upstairs. The assistant coaches along the sideline. I'm sure Tom Ramsey has something to contribute. Out there on the field as quarterback, all with suggestions of what to do. Bo Schembechler hopes his team does nearly the improbable or impossible, and that is stop them inches from the goal line. It is fourth down. More defensive replacements coming in. The big men for Michigan to stop what they are sure is going to be a run. And now Ramsey calls timeout. Timeout, UCLA 17, Michigan 7. Bo Schembechler of UCLA very confident for this game. Terry Donahue in his first game would like to win it. It is fourth down, less than a yard to go at the Michigan half-yard line. 17 to 7 UCLA lead, looking for what they hope will be the clincher against Shem Beckler's Wolverines. Kevin Nelson goes for it and does not get it. Michigan is held and takes over. Terry Donahue upset. Bo Schembechler realizes that David Hall and his offensive team have a long way to go, nearly 100 yards, and they're 10 points behind with less than nine minutes to go in the 1983 Rose Bowl. Bo Schembechler is hardly ecstatic. His team is nearly 100 yards from a score, and it's down by 10 points. That was his reaction when they held at the one-foot line. That was Terry Donahue's reaction when he was held at the one-foot line. And now David Hall from the end zone, second down. Hall to throw from the end zone. Intercepted by Blanchard Montgomery, touchdown UCLA. That's it. The Bruins figure this one is theirs. And Blanchard Montgomery says, no one's gonna get this ball but me. For the records, an 11-yard return by Blanchard Montgomery. But what a turnaround for Michigan. They had held UCLA. They were only down by 10 points. They had the football. But on the second play from the line of scrimmage, Montgomery made the interception, and this ball game may be over. John Lee, the freshman in, who had the extra point, to make it 24 to 7. And now Ken Potter to kick off. And once more, the Wolverines have their biggest weapon of the last three years, Anthony Carter deep. Coming out of the end zone up to the five-yard line to take this kick of Potter's. Across the 10, to the 20, on his way, across the 30, across the 40, and down he goes near the 45-yard line. Anthony Carter, the greatest all-purpose runner in the history of collegiate football, returns the ball from the five to the 46. Hall now looking to throw, can't throw. On his way back to midfield into UCLA territory. And the Wolverines still trying to come back, still without their quarterback Steve Smith, separated shoulder, and without the use of their strong tackle, Rich Stringer. All shaking his head, he might have taken quite a pop there. They're down 24 to 7, less than eight minutes to go. First down at the 43 yard line. And now Ricks up the middle, nine yards. Down to the 34-yard line, and here come the Wolverines. Bo Schembechler, one and five thus far in the Rose Bowl. After the game, he was said to say, listen, give the credit to UCLA. Don't say what we haven't done. Say what they did do. No turnovers, only two penalties. One of those they took deliberately in order to wind down the clock. Less than seven and a half minutes to go. First down, 34-yard line for Hall. David Hall back to throw. Looking for his tight end. 
Dunaway, a great catch between two defenders inside the five-yard line. A 31-yard play. Sullivan makes the stop. Craig Dunaway, number 88, the big tight end. We will see him again come off the line of scrimmage. But watch the catch he makes when he gets between two defenders down at the five-yard line and takes the ball inside the five. For the first and goal to go, Michigan still in the ball game. Out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the big senior tight end. First down. The fullback, Rice, perhaps picked up two yards at most. It is second down and goal to go. Well, Schembechler amazingly calm. His reputation for being very flamboyant. Goal to go. Here is Ricks coming around the right side. Ricks will score. Michigan back on the scoreboard, making it close. But a flag on the play. This touchdown will be called back. Referee John Presley says, a legal motion. They'll move the ball back five yards. Everything has gone wrong for Bo Schembechler and his Wolverines. Now, two plays later, Michigan out of the huddle. It is fourth down. And goal to go. All rolling to the right, looking to the end zone. Dan Rice, touchdown. All has thrown a second touchdown pass of the day. And Michigan has come back, but still about five minutes and 20 seconds to go. All has never been in a ball game in which Michigan trailed before, throws a second touchdown pass. Again to the fullback, coming out of the backfield as he did earlier to Eddie Garrett. This is to Dan Rice. The score, UCLA 24, Michigan 14. Late in the fourth quarter, less than two minutes to go, UCLA was unable to move the football. Michigan had it, first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Hall with those two touchdown passes, dropping back, rolling out, throwing again to Vince Bean. Bean, number 25. Tries to get out of bounds and does after a gain of 12 yards to the 41-yard line of Michigan. But now, things begin to go wrong. Page, sacks, Hall, a loss of nine yards. Second down and 19 to go. And for Michigan, time and their good fortune began to run out. As the clock wound down, watch David Hall as he goes back to throw. He trips over his own man and loses six more yards. The clock continues to run. Michigan went on to pick up a first down. And now on first down from the 34, all throws for Carter, incomplete in the end zone. Broken up by Delicano, the linebacker. And the ball game looks as though it belongs to UCLA. Fourth down from the 17. Time running out, Hall going back, gets the ball away. Intercepted by Turner, number 35. The halfback of UCLA, another turnover, and a victory for UCLA and Terry Donahue. They win it Tom Ramsey, a big afternoon. You've had a spectacular career at UCLA, and this is not a bad way to end. Well, thank you, Bill. This is just a culmination of all the hard work put in by both the players and the coaches, and believe me, we're thrilled to death to be Rose Bowl champions. Michigan was using what amounted to five linebackers, and yet you're able to throw to the short zones today. Well, they did have, they were deep dropping a lot, and, and we hit a lot of underneath stuff, and uh, you know, it's really a tribute to the coaches. They game planned it, and everything seemed to work. Could you sympathize a little bit with what David Hall was going through, having to come in when Steve Smith was injured in a big game like this one? Well, I hope Steve Smith's all right. And, uh, you know, it is a tough job coming in in a game like this. And 
uh, you know, I just hope Smith is all right. Okay, Tom Ramsey, congratulations, a great game. Terry Donahue, the head coach at UCLA, is with us. Coach, it's been a while getting here, but, but a nice job today. This has to be a very satisfying victory for you. Well, of course, any win in a big game like this is always satisfying. And the University of Michigan has a great program, and UCLA has a great program. And it was a very physical game, and we were fortunate to win. You were able to neutralize Anthony Carter as we get pushed around a little bit, able to neutralize Anthony Carter without weakening the rest of your defense. You were successful at that today. That had to be one of the keys. Well, I think we could do that because of the loss of Steve Smith to Michigan. I think that uh, whenever you lose your first string quarterback like that, it's difficult to win. And, and uh, I think that Michigan has a great football team. Anthony Carter is a terrific player. And he didn't have his best game uh, today, but it could have been due to the Smith's loss. But our defense was spectacular.